So first I have a four uh, out of eight strings and I find a center and you make a big knot and then you start a box stitch. Now inserting for the center of the stitch two strings. And you stretch a stitch. And now you want to make one more stitch while keeping the two center strings to at the center of a stitch. Now I'm gonna add the other two strings and any way, any way you want, you can go around here, say. So one goes here. And say Vara string goes out also the same way. So, any way you want. And I'm gonna stretch and gonna make one more box stitch. Now it's time to mainly make uh, tons of uh, overhand knots. Um, and we do it by, say, first taking the two middle strings here, make an overhand knot here. You can take now the, the box here on that side and make two overhand knots, which one is here, What which one are with, with these two strings, and then one with these two strings.
and then say I have these two strings and these two strings to do an overhand, overhand knot. Also, now you can untie the big knot and make uh, overhand knots with, with that side as well. So I undo the knot and you can make now overhand knots there as well. So now it becomes really um, messy, but uh, so the, the rule here is to each time to find two close strings and make the overhand knot with them. So if I have here this string and, and this, this string, I can use this simple rule and just make an overhand knot there. And then say I have, we can cover this side here by say taking this string and this string so i'll just um speed things up here because each of you will get here something different Next idea is to make um, one overhand knot uh, as usual, the same idea, picking two close strings. Once you make that overhand knot, you want to insert one CN string, and then you're gonna finish off this uh, peak of um, COVID coronavirus. coronavirus. So let's uh, show you one example. Uh, I'll show you four times. Uh, we need to finish eight times, I'll show four times, and then uh, you can um, I'll speed it up and finish all, all, the, all the other four. So uh, let's um, pick, say, say, two close strings, say these two. I'll first make the overhand knot. Once you finish this, you want to insert the CN string through here, find the center, make one overhand knot, 
one more overhead knot. It could be it could be a twist or it could be a regular one. A regular one. It doesn't matter. Really matter. Once you've done that, you want to take the two strings and put them to the center of a stitch. And you want to stretch. Okay, and next it's time to get to take uh, the CN strings and you want to make overhand knots on them cells and you want to make in between uh, three to five stitches so uh, you can pick randomly you don't need to have it exactly the same uh, each time because uh, I think uh, in the real coronavirus, uh, it doesn't uh, really look um, symmetrical as the pictures on the news says. Uh, it looks uh, pretty, uh, more look like, it does more look like than this thing than, than uh, I think, I'm not really sure. But, but uh, I say, I've seen the real pictures, microscopical pictures. So, um so in between three to five so i'll pick uh say for here i'll pick four and next time i'll pick three so i made three i'll make four once you made four you want to cut the strings first to continue and then continue on uh cut the strings you, you do four and continue you cut the strings, yeah. You cut the strings. You you make another one. You cut the strings, make another one. So you, overall, I made four, and then you can say glue, wait until time, and um, continue with the other four. Good, so I made the first one. Now I'm gonna continue on with um um other three. So let's um show you one more time um with uh, notate notating and then I'll uh do it uh, two more times with uh, some mu music background and then I'll speed it up. So uh, I have to, again, try to find two close strings. So uh, let's pick, um, these two can be very, very promising. Let's find someone that is not the same direction as here. So yeah, I think this, these two are good because there will be 90 degrees um, between them. So first you, you make an over knot with a, with a maroon strings, you insert the cyan string You make one overhand knot again with with um wait a second. Uh, 
make one over a knot again of maroon string. You insert now the, the two. Oh, this is not a good idea. Actually, actually, you do this carefully. You make a regular, regular overhand knot here, which means you go here, and this goes here, like this. So yeah. now, now it's vertical to the two CN strings, and it's better that way. So you went to insert now. You stretch very carefully and you start making overhand knots with the CN strings. So now I'll do, um, I did four last time, I'll do three now. And next time I'll do five. So three, four, five, and say next, the fourth time I'll do four. Just uh, pick random numbers, doesn't really matter. One, two, and three. You cut the strings and you go to a third one and then fourth one and so on. So around, it'll take you around a, a one hour to finish everything. It's not so much compared to other projects. Okay, I'll do now uh, with some music backgrounds because uh, you understood, I think, the idea. So, again, there are um, a few uh, rules. You, you first start by picking two close strings, then you make the aura knot with them. See, so you do this, make aura knot with them, you insert the CN string in the middle, make one more aura knot with the maroon strings, you insert next the cn strings through the center you make a uh, between four to f three to five over and out with cn strings and you finish <laughs>
So as you can see, this section has no um, spike that goes here. And I guess it's better to, to add one more string um, to the um, ninth one just to make it uh, complete. And I can insert save for here. And you can do it very gently. And once you've done that, you do the same idea as before. Make uh, one overhand knot, and then you insert the CN string and so on. So I'll just do that and I'll finish off. Mm -hmm.